welcome to Lynn's Recipes. Tonight I'm making pastizio. This is a Greek pasta and meat dish. The amounts of the ingredients that you're going to need for this recipe will be listed in the information box below or you can find it on the website. The ingredients are, you'll need elbow macaroni, you'll need ground beef or if you want you can use ground lamb, you'll need chopped onion, tomato sauce, parmesan cheese, black pepper, cinnamon, oregano, salt, and chopped garlic. That's for the meat part and the pasta part. For the bechamel sauce, you'll need some more parmesan cheese, flour, milk, a beaten egg, salt, and butter. You'll also need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and butter an 8 by 8 or 9 by 9 square casserole dish. To start this recipe, I have put my macaroni in a boiling pot of water and I'm cooking it on my stove according to the package directions. Now I'm going to start with my beef. I'm going to take my ground beef and my onion and I'm going to brown these until the uh, ground beef is cooked. Okay, my beef and onions are ready. They're not pink anymore, so I'm going to put in my garlic. I'm going to stir this in and I'm going to let this cook for about a minute. Okay, so now I'm going to add my tomato sauce. My salt. And the oregano, black pepper, and cinnamon. I'm going to stir this together. And now I'm going to let this simmer until it's all heated through. My macaroni is done, I drained it, and now I'm ready to start layering the casserole. So the first step is to put half of our macaroni in the bottom of our dish. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to take my quarter cup of Parmesan and sprinkle on top of the macaroni. And now I'm going to pour all of my beef on top. And just spread it out evenly. And now I'm going to layer the rest of my macaroni on top of the beef. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside and move on to my bechamel sauce. I'm going to start my bechamel sauce by melting my butter in a saucepan. Okay, now I'm going to add my flour and my salt and continue to stir until it's smooth. You want to cook the flour taste out, so just let it cook for just a minute. And now I'm going to gradually add my milk. Turn this up just a little bit, and I'm going to bring this to a boil. Turn this down and it's come to a boil and I'm going to let it cook for a couple of minutes. So I have my beaten egg here. I'm going to take a little bit of my white sauce and I'm going to quickly stir it into my egg to temper the egg so it doesn't cook and bring it up to the same temperature as the bechamel sauce.
And now I'm going to quickly stir and pour in my egg. I'm going to let this cook for a couple of minutes. Turn the heat off, and now I'm going to pour the rest of my Parmesan cheese into the bechamel sauce. And whisk it together. Okay, set that aside. And now what I'm going to do is pour this sauce over the macaroni and meat mixture. Trying to get it over all of the macaroni. to the 350 degree preheated oven for 30 to 35 minutes until it starts getting golden on top. My casserole cooked for 35 minutes. I just took it out of the oven and this is what it looks like. I'm going to let it sit here for about 10 minutes before I serve it. My casserole has cooled down a little bit and now I'm ready to serve it. So I'm going to take a little spatula here and just cut a square. So this is Pestizio. I hope you enjoy it.